Welcome to this tutorial video. This is our second video on smoothing. In this example we're looking at five point moving average rather than the three point moving average which we examined previously. So in our previous example we're looking at the number of births in a hospital for each month of the year and we applied a three point moving average and the graph we have here shows our original births as a function of a time code where each number 1 represents a month, January to February right through to 12 of December. We then applied a 3 point moving average smooth and we can see that we have reduced the variation or fluctuation in the data. However, it still doesn't look really that linear. So instead of doing a 3 point moving average we wish to apply now a 5 point moving average. So let's examine how to do this. So again we have our original data now a five point moving average is exactly the same as a three point, only we take the first five pieces of data, the births for January, February, March, April and May. We add them together and we divide by five to work out the average of 11. And that's centered against one, two, the third month. The third month is right in the middle of the first five. So it has a value of 11.0. We then move on the next five for Feb, March, April, May, June. It averages out to 12.6 and so forth. 12.8 is centered against May, etc, etc, etc. When we apply a 5 point moving average, we don't have any data to put in for our first two points. Okay, our third point has two above and two below to make a total of five. January, we don't know the two month birth rates prior to January, and we don't know the two prior to February. We know one in January, but we don't know what it was the de December before. The same with our 11th and 12th month. We need, um, after October, we have two more bits of data to make a five to work out the average for October. But November has got one after. We need a second. We don't know what the next January's year's data is. And certainly December, we need two further points. So the price you pay for a five point moving average is you lose the first two reference points of data and the last two reference points. Let's have a look at this on our calculator. We've already got one previously with our three point, our three point moving average. So let's do a five underscore point moving average. Okay, so with a five point moving average, we're going to work out the sum of the first five birth data. One, two, three, four, five. And after that, we'll divide that by five to work out the average. So that comes out to 11. If we go back to our original data, we had 11 as our first reference point. So we know we've got that right for our first bit of our data of our five point moving average. We can now drag this data down for the cells before and after, all the way down to our ninth, in fact our 10th month. However, 11 and 12, as we mentioned, have no data we can enter. So we can fill those data points in with an underscore and an underscore. We can also, and obviously up the top here, it's pre filled in with underscores as well. So there's our data. We can now have a go at graphing this. Okay, let's add, actually, rather, right click, let's add a variable and we'll put in our five point moving average. So we'll see now that our original blue data has large fluctuations and variations. Our orange data, which is our three point moving, has considerable fluctuations as well. But now our green data has smoothed out considerably a lot of those variations and fluctuations. This will look a lot easier if we simply have a look at our five point moving average. There's our five point moving average. Not particularly interested in this data. And there's our equation y equals 13.8762 plus negative 0 0.330952 times x. Let's go back and check that out with our PowerPoint. And there's our data. Um, negative 0 0.331 plus 13.876 negative 0 0.331 plus 13.876. There we go. So we've been able to plot a five point moving average near regression line. And again, we can add in our previous three point moving average 
to see how it's improved the green compared to the orange and yet again we can add in our original births which will show you our original blue variation our orange for our three point moving average and our much improved smoothing of the green this is how we perform a five point moving average again you can see we've lost two data points for this grey line be before our first dot and we've lost the last two data points and that's the price you pay for a five point moving average when you write this as a proper equation, we can say the number of births, which is our y variable, is equal to negative 0.33 times x, our number of months, plus 13.876. And that's a completed linear regression for a five-point moving average.